Hey guys, Andy here. Alright, I just thought I'd uh, make a quick video on this. So these light bulbs here, I'll have a link in the description of where I got them off eBay. They're about $6.50 Canadian uh, total, shipped to your door, or about $5 American. And uh, so that's, that's about all the information you'll ever get out of them. And yeah, so very uh very impressive light bulbs you can look at my previous videos about dimmable 12 to 24 volt led lights um but so anyways as you can see um so i i popped this off it was very easy to pop the top off it's just some really cheap silicone that's holding in place and two uh strategically placed clips there's one right there. You can't even, you can barely see it right there. And then the other one is somewhere right here where my thumb is. Very hard to see, almost not even noticeable if you don't, you can see the little notch, well, center screen right there. I feel focus. So there's one of them, and the other one is right there. There we go. So this was the uh, first thing I noticed was that that is impressive is a uh, thermal compound. I I honestly have never seen an LED light bulb with thermal compound applied. So that's that's really good. And the wire just goes straight down and then soldered to this end cap. There's nothing in the center here at all. All right, with it put back together. You can see right away there is a microchip, capacitor, a coil. These are all diodes, so four diodes for full rectification, and then another diode, possibly for reverse polarity protection of some kind, or I'm not sure, or flyback from the coil maybe. Probably for flyback protection. Um, extremely well built, even better built than I suspected it to be. Way better than I thought it would be, so, yeah. After this teardown, I, I'm, uh, even more certain that this is a good, uh, probably the best LED light bulb I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. Um... The thermal compound explains why these things don't heat up at all. I was wondering about that because I've been running these guys for a long time now. These are the, that was the warm white. This is the cool white, or just white. So it, like you hold it and it's like one, two degrees warmer than my body is. So. Very impressive. So this is the microchip, PT4115, 18208Y, some, probably some kind of SEPIC, it's maybe a SEPIC, or some kind of buck boost, should look that up. Alright, so it's an LED driver, this is it, now if you see right there, continuous conduction mode inductive step down converter driving a single multiple series LEDs. These, uh, this microchip is extremely popular, and as I suspected, there we go, so maximum of 45 volts DC, but there's a 35 volt capacitor in it, so I would strongly recommend never going past 35 volts, just, just for safety's sake. But yeah, so, uh, very interesting. I'm glad I tore this apart. Really, really good. I've been running these for, um, like, constantly for quite a while now, uh, just to monitor them and test them out. Um, and I'll be slowly converting at least my garage and then maybe my upstairs, some of my upstairs, to use these, utilize these things. But not really sure extremely impressive and yeah can't say can't say a single bad thing about them especially after uh, going through all this um, I love how there's 
there's four diodes for rectification. Um, the first wave of LED lights that came on the market, they were so overpriced, and these those cheap bastards, they only put a half wave rectifier into the LED lights, so it would cause a feedback loop onto the neutral, and if the neutral was hooked up improperly in your house, then you'd have about 50 volts AC on your neutral line. And it, sometimes like these electricians, electricians are morons. I don't care what you say, I don't care if you're an electrician, electricians are absolute morons. Some of these places I'd go to, they'd be having troubles with their electronics. And it would turn out that the electricians wired the neutral into the ground wire and then didn't ground the ground wire. So there was just, you'd get electrocuted from the ground wire. And the only thing that made any of this equipment in that, in that building half function properly was the fact that there was so much ground wire in the building that it created enough mass that it would act like a ground. It was incredibly uh, incompetent, incredibly um, uh, unprofessional. Like uh, these these people, they're, these electricians, they're getting paid thirty six bucks an hour. Some of them, and they they don't even know how to do the simplest of their job. It's a joke. So it's nice that these have full wave rectification, and I can only imagine that this diode here is for flyback from the coil. But anyways, I think that's about it. These are the warm. These are the cool. Um, I'll dim it down and I'll put one of them in and show you. Alright, so this is, you can see, you can see, um, you can tell right away which one is the cool and which one is the warm, which is kind of neat. It's uh, easy. So the camera can't really see it because it gets so bright. I would say the warm white is brighter than the cool white. It definitely hurts more to look at. I can't show it on camera. But I'd say that the warm whites are what you want, unless you're in a studio where color is important. So like some kind of studio or work environment, because you don't want cool whites in your living spaces where like, if you're trying to get to sleep or wind down for the night, you do not want blue uh, in the blue spectrum. Uh, you don't want that at all. You want warm this will help you better with like relaxing and winding down this is good for just true seeing the true color of things uh, brings it out etc but anyways uh, you can watch my previous videos where I explain this I'm still waiting on parts so I can build the final product so I've got these parts here waiting I'm just waiting on a different uh, resistor and um, a part like this. I don't think I showed this before, but this part, I need a bigger one of these. Double pull, double throw, but I wanted a threaded one for obvious reasons. So anyways, that's about it. I think that's uh, pretty much covers it. So I'll link in the description where you can buy these. Uh, very cheap, best LED lights on the market, in my opinion, period. So anyways, let me know what you think, if you have them. And yeah, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed watch my previous videos on these light bulbs to see um, how to dim them the most efficient way possible. I'll go over that and yeah, hope you like it. All right, see you guys. Bye.